So we are going to work on the X Max. You saw the last video. The Cush drive was having an issue. And I had a hard time getting this gear on. So we see a wobble in it. Oh, I think this goes the other way. these steel gears really bite into it and as you see look how beat up that is you can really see now how rounded off these corners are and all these little plastic burrs I think that's where my issue is at least I hope that's where my issue is so if you guys are looking for this piece, the part number is 7793X. X are supposed to be the upgraded ones from my understanding with Traxxas. I could be wrong, but that was from my understanding. I've never replaced one of these, but it looks like three screws, just like you were putting on the spur, except these are tapered screws. And then that piece that's damaged, comes off now this piece isn't too bad but there is a burr there and there is a burr there so that'll pull forward allow you to pull forward take this piece out which is rubber and then this plastic piece with the keyway in it Pull the pin out, then this should slide out, this metal piece, then the bottom half comes out. And then that allows you to get this bearing out as well if you need to replace this bearing. So let's get this package opened up. When I buy an RC, I tend to uh, buy pieces that I think are going to go bad. So apparently, I bought this piece because it's plastic. And when I kept shattering spur gears, when I shattered my first spur gear, I think I ordered this piece. So, if I can remember, this goes on first. Then this piece will go on, drop into there, and that's where your cush drive on impact allows this thing to slide a little bit. Then our pin, wow, I believe it goes in there. goes in there and this plastic thing drops in there rubber thing I think keeps out the sand this is this is part of the cush should drop into there and that gives it a little rubber bushing I guess I could have used that new piece I probably should go and then the new cap goes on right there and then the tapered screws go in I'm pushing forward with my fingertips to make sure it doesn't slide out of that pin
see if this gear goes on any better now. Still tight. This is a stock Traxxas gear. This is a 54. And that slides on nice and tight. Here is another 50 tooth DGI gear. Wow, these things are really tight. Not liking that at all. You can see how tight that is. This is what's making it wiggle. That's pretty far on now. give RC guy a garage a call and ask if he put his I know he ordered these uh, DGI gears as well I don't think he's installed them yet though but I wonder if it's the hardened coating on it so what I'm gonna do is try to tighten these by hand and see if it'll suck it in flat because I'm worried about plastic shavings underneath it from tapping it in and causing the gear to wiggle can do should be round put in a drill I don't want to grab the pin area still have a little wiggle not nearly as bad but it looks like it could be the shaft Yeah, the tip of that shaft looks like it could be, could have a wobble in it. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I 
definitely know that plastic piece is bad. These being so tight, I wonder if I should sand them. I mean, that looks pretty good now. But I'm wondering if the tip of this is just a little bent. It wouldn't take much. You can see the little cush drive cushion. Huh. Interesting. My first time messing with the cush drive. And I should have another bearing around here. So these bearings get squeezed together. I'm going to stick it back in here. And then, uh, then we'll spin it up and see if it's any better. We'll be right back. First thing I do is drop the bearing in there. Just like I did last time. guys so the two you have two long bolts and two short bolts so the short bolts go towards the driver's side the long bolts go towards the passenger side The, I should say the driver's side being the American driver's side. The real driver's side, not the fake driver's side like them Europeans. Just messing with you guys. But know that there are two driver's sides depending on which way or where you live, I should say. Man, I'm having a heck of a time today. Dropping bolts, dropping screws. These are the days you really don't want to work on stuff because you might just create a bigger issue. Than you started out with. Still have a tight spot, but not nearly as bad. All right, radio. Get these batteries plugged in. Want to hear the sound of this? I think I'm going to have to order a shaft. Funny, my steering's doing not too bad right now. It's at least centered, but still having a little glitch. way better
bring you guys in and the steering center at that time. Get these tools out of the way. So I can bring the camera in. You can hear how it's real consistent now. It's not going high, low, high, low, high, low like the last video. Yeah, that's way better guys, way better. Let me bring you guys back. See if that steering centers now. steering for some reason is centered but I'm going to change it out anyway because it is glitching watch I don't have any bad glitching going on right now and I don't know why. I didn't do anything, I didn't change anything. There was a little glitch. Steering's not glitching at all. But I know I was having when I was out there, I was cranking the wheel and it wasn't turning nearly as good as it should. So I'm going to change out the steering servo anyway. Um, just because I have it. And then I'm going to use this as a backup steering servo. Because this one isn't totally gone yet. It's still working. It's just... I don't know if it... Uh, it just skipped a tooth or what's going on but it is working right now and it did see some sort of air because it was glitching real bad when I fired it right up for the first time pop this cover back on I really need to take the whole RC apart and uh, change out some bearings and uh, and go through it because it's it's been bashed real hard and put away wet so we just tend to beat on these X maxes without uh, without much servicing only time I really service it is when there's a, a big issue so 
be right back. I'm going to figure out how to get this uh, steering servo out, and then we're going to do that part of it. Be right back. All right, time to get the, the steering servo put in. So I haven't done this before, but we are going to find out. these batteries out of my way so I'm gonna pop off this is starting to come off anyway the on and off button I have to clean that up and get a new piece of uh, velcro put in there so from my understanding there's Eight screws to separate this front chassis one two three be six and then seven eight that's what I think but we will try I think it's all 2.5 tear my X Max down too often. I believe we pull off these four and then I can slide the front out. So that's the steering bolt. Those are the four. Now I believe this front should slide off. Once I'm forgetting something. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take this whole bottom cover off. with it. And I believe this thing should separate. I think I see two more screws. those two but we'll see there's one where'd the other one go yeah that was it where'd that other screw go though is it still in there Missing screw already. Oh, I heard it fall. There it is. So, which ones did I take out that I didn't need to? Those two, those two. Those front ones, I didn't need to take out. Those just hold on the side. 
think everything else I took out was right. I think. So. Let's. Let's say here. So I'm going to pop off this brace and get this spring changed out. All right, there we go, a little better angle. So I took out the top two here. Now I'm gonna take out, oh, that's the one I didn't need to take out. No, that had to come out. But anyhow, so two, 2.5s and then Oh, three 2.5s, because there's one in the center here. Those are the same. doesn't have to come off because it just kind of holds that on the hot racing deal so we'll make sure that that's still tight now there's a screw down in there it's a 2.5 and that seemed loose did seem loose so there's our spring so I'm gonna get this cleaned up while it's apart all right everything's washed up no more sand or grit in there anytime you can get to uh, Deep in the RC, you could definitely get it clean. So here we go. Here's the kit, 2085X. It'll come with the upgraded steering servo. And it comes with a steering rod and a higher tension spring. I don't know. I can't tell the difference. But that's what they say, higher tension spring. So we'll get that put back in there. Get that dropped in. So I'm going to tighten that up by hand. Because it did seem loose. Oh, that's, that's tight now. So it did seem loose to me when I went to take it off. So I'm gonna put this aside, because we're gonna need that. Put the steering servo aside. Then we're gonna get our hot racing uh, brace. There is a bearing there and a bearing there. And there is a bearing right here. So check all your bearings. Make sure none of them are bad. So that goes in there. So we can discard this spring. Make sure our steering still works, which we're good. 
So that part is done. Now, I'm going to pause the camera. We're going to get to the big piece. All right. So now, from my understanding, what I think is we're definitely going to have to get in that servo box to get the number one taken out. So that's the wrong driver. So I'm finding... The majority of the screws are 2.5. And then that should be this. Wow. So that takes some force to get out. Don't lose our gasket. You can see how clean it is in there, so it is working properly. This is called the wire holder. This kind of holds down all the wires. So we're going to remove that. Ah, that's in there, but it's in there because, whoa, look at all the dirt that it caught. That's amazing. I'll zoom in, but all the sand, this little thing had kept out. That's pretty good. Pretty good if you ask me. There's a lot of wires in here. So, Traxxas normally twist them up. So take them out, untwist them. Let's see which one goes to the steering. I believe it's that one. There's one off to the side here. God, that is a lot of sand. I don't even know if there's a slot there for that. So, this one goes to the switch. So this one's the ESC, so this one, which is in the first spot, has got to be my steering. Now that wire's twisted up. So, let's see if I can get a loop in there. Let's see if I can slip this wire out. Oh yeah, there we go. But it's still, I think it comes up from the bottom. So I'm gonna take a look at that, get these screws put into this dish so I know where they go. Let's flip this baby over. Yep, that's the OG one. As you can tell, blue and silver. It looks like a really good, you know, servo, but When you got the all black one, that's when you know it's upgraded. So this should be three bolts. Which we will have to reuse. And then I believe this slides out. And there's a little slot down there. My GoPro just decided to shut off. But there's a little slot down here for this. That, that wire comes through wow don't drop it i am dropping everything today so was this facing down i think it was yeah so now we're going to take this out now we are going to need to reuse that screw and reuse this the steering horn so, I am going to replace this rod. So that comes out. And I guess if you see this rod in there, 
that's adjustable, then you know you have the upgraded servo. Because I wouldn't imagine anybody would change it without putting this uh, rod. So just looking from the top, if you had one that's not adjustable versus one adjustable, if you have the adjustable one, if you buy your RC used and you see this adjustable one in there, most likely you got the upgraded servo. So I'm going to leave this off for now with that screw because I'm going to fish this through that hole. Should be enough. Now the three bolts that hold it back on. So those three bolts. The reason I'm double checking these is because I can't get to them easy. Normally I would just use my impact. So we're going to discard this. We don't need that anymore flip it back over and now I'm gonna fish this into its slot using a pair of needle nose to grab it plug this back into number one I'm gonna twist these back up Gotta stuff them back in here. Now I'm gonna throw my gasket on there. And I'm gonna put a little grease around that. I'm gonna throw some all around this little slot here. This has got foam on it. So I'm not gonna put any grease on that foam. are a little tough to get over those wires but with a little finagling I can get them in here and now they slotted this upper brace so we can get to these which is nice Traxxas is thinking And that's why I'm able to wash my RCs, is because that box I know is sealed. Even though this uh, Max 6 I have in here isn't. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this washed up. And then we're going to power it up so that uh, I can center my servo horn. We'll be right back. Alright, got it cleaned up. So now I'm going to add... Some uh, double sided tape. This two sided tape doesn't work well. some of the stuff I bought some work good some don't work good there we go now I got that back on pop in some batteries just to get some power to center it turn on my remote Now I'm going to turn my steering back to center. I believe this thing goes straight up and down. Or as straight as you can make it. There we go. Now we can 
turn that off. So we are centered. I believe all I need to do is install the front assembly and the drive shaft. Now on your drive shaft, make sure that you don't lose this piece. I believe that goes in the rear. When I was washing it, it fell out. I don't know how that thing fell out of there. Snap that together. Alright. Get that unplugged so that's out of my way. So I can get in here and put this back in. My steering. Steering's on. Now I just gotta put all these bolts back in. nice and easy once you know which bolts to take out and then and for our rear cover give this thing a test look at that steering oh yeah no more glitching Sounding like an X-Max again, nice and smooth. And I do have the multi-function on zero. And as you see, no more glitching with the steering servo. And I'm centered. So there's my right, there's my left. So I do have adjustment now, which I didn't have before. Now let's make sure the TSM works. So turn that up a quarter, hit the trigger. And as you see, TSM's working. TSM off. There we go, guys. So that's how you swap out to the X. And these are the three pieces that get swapped out. So this steering servo I'll use as a backup because it still works. It just glitches real bad. So this will become a backup servo. And as you see, it's a 2085. No X on the end of it. This is supposed to be a weaker spring, which I did find. The bolt was backing out of it. And then now we have an adjustable steering arm. So and that's it, guys. <clears throat> went ahead and uh, got my switch mounted back down that was starting to fall off from the last batch or bash I should say so the X-Max is ready to go compete against Floyd and see if it'll survive one bash session 
Because so far, this X Max being all modified so it doesn't break has been breaking. So, show you all the stuff we swapped out on this one. Here's our cush drive that was all chewing up. And here's the other pieces. So, this is everything I swapped out on the X Max. So, hopefully, it is uh, ready to go. And uh, I won't have any more issues. And while I was doing this, got it all cleaned up. So everything's all washed, ready, ready to go out again. Body's still dirty, but that's okay. It's clean on the inside, just not on the out. And this is my unbreakable body. So, that way I can bash it hard. So, we're going to get out there. I am watching uh, Deontay's live while I'm uh, doing this uh, video. My phone decided to, uh, or my GoPro decided to shut off again. I think it's something to do with my phone. But I am watching Deontay's live while I'm doing this, uh, this work, doing this video. And uh, so there we go, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's get the X-Max out now with the Super Baja Ray. Let's go meet up with Floyd and uh, see if uh, old girl right here will stay together for one bash session without uh, stripping some gears and breaking down. So like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video. If, uh, if I put the steering servo in right because I just winged it. But... There we go. We'll see you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching.